deep into the center of the enemy formation. Blade drawn and spin! I'm no longer a man, but a whirling dervish of death and steel. What are you doing, Owen? Oh, greetings, Robin. I'm chronicling the saga of Owain Dark, Avenger of Righteous Justice. It's a tale of blood and honor, and me being generally amazing. Owain Dark? A title bestowed upon me by the masses, both of equal parts fear and love. What began as a rumor soon became legend, and my name spread throughout the world. Do people actually call you that? I mean, real people who exist? Not yet, but they will. Well, it's good to dream big, I suppose. Any man can dream, but only a legend can become a myth. Only a legend can become... You know what? Good for you. Whatever floats your boat, I say. But as a tactician, I'd advise against jumping into a pack of enemies. Ha ha ha! Worry not, mortal! Uh. I spy a pack ten men strong and charge into the fray. One swipe and two fall. I lock swords with the third. Ching! His guts spill forth upon the earth. As the fifth falls, the sixth flees, driven mad. I cut and slash and three more are done. I bear you no ill will, I cry as I slay. Rest in peace, or rest in pieces. As the dust settles, only two men yet stand. My showdown with the evil general begins. There's an evil general? My sword flashes out a flickering blur of cold blue steel. Ka-swing! Swing! Ha ha ha! I'm impressed, General! No one has blocked that before! The General wobbles on unsteady feet and then drops to his knees in shame! Mercy, O Wayne Dark! Have mercy on me, for I cannot abide another mighty blow! <sighs> it's like watching some kind of bizarre one-man theater performance. <laughs> Time to weave another brilliant tapestry of tactics for use in my future battles. Today, I run the gauntlet through the very heart of enemy territory, Castle Doom, which means it's guaranteed to end with a dramatic rooftop showdown. Alright, here we go. I take the vanguard, sprinting towards the castle gates to step ahead of my allies. Hello, Owen. Are you... visualizing future combat scenarios again? I am indeed, my inquisitive friend, and in this week's thrilling episode, I conquer Castle Doom. Single-handedly, no doubt. Uh, what was that, Robin? Nothing. Nothing at all. Then let the carnage begin. The mission is simple. Take the wicked lord of Castle Doom alive, for he is the only one who knows the location of the orphaned hostages. Wait, why would anyone hold orphans hostage? Who would pay the rent? But at the Lord's side stands a stunning female knight of legendary skill. I don't have the luxury of a cautious fight. If we dance, the cowardly Lord will flee. I trust my allies to guard the exits, and the rooftop duel commences. Wait, when did you get on the roof? I lock eyes with a woman whose sword has toppled dynasties. Our blades meet, and in that instant, we each understand the metal of the other. She smiles then, a slender thing, as a single tear works down her cheek. At last, she whispers, a worthy foe. Yes? And, and then? Don't stop when it's actually getting good! Ahoy hoy, Robin! Oh, hello, Hoyen. Any interest in hearing the next episode in the ongoing saga of Owain Dark? Um, I don't know. I was going over these plans for our next bet. Right then. This time we finish it. For once and for good. It's time we rest peace from the clutches of evil. Oh? Okay then, never mind. I guess we'll all just be killed. You say something? Nothing important. Right then. Where were we? Oh yes. We left off at the big showdown between me and the legendary knight. Okay, so I beat her. That's it. You, you beat her. Isn't that a bit, I don't know, anticlimactic? She was good. No. Great. But even she was no match for the fearsome Owain Dark. And yet, 
our tortured hero now finds himself in a shocking crisis. Here we go, that's more like it. It seems the cowardly lord of Castle Doom is even stronger than his shapely knight. My allies drop their weapons and flee for their lives, leaving me as the only hope. We circle each other for what seems an eternity, then begin a clash for the ages. He raises his blade and brings it down with earth-shattering force. True! But I leap to the side with feline grace, and then his sword finds only air. He changes his grip and slashes upward, but is speared by a blinding thrust. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Y yeah well I read his intent by watching his right shoulder and leading foot. The speed of my thrust came from shifting my weight to the back leg. <laughs> I'm surprised you put that much thought into the details. You wound me, sir. The saga of Owain Dark has always been a simulated training exercise. Every prudent warrior envisions possible scenarios and crafts tactics to best them. So this is just your way of practicing sword forms? Something like that, I guess. Except that my method is a lot more entertaining. I suppose people learn more quickly with a training style that suits them. I owe you an apology, Owain. I thought this was but egotistical fluff. You've shown me that there are as many ways to train as there are to fight. I'm glad you finally can the true genius of Owain Dark, mortal. You may make a legend after all, my friend. I look forward to watching your progress. Owain Dark never disappoints. Just be sure to come back next time for the next thrilling installment.